Chip and hammers rake slag better when they're sharp. Problem is they're soft as butter. Most of them are anyway. Here's a quick tip for adding a little metal on the tips. It'll make it a lot harder, make it hold an edge a lot better, make it rake slag a lot better. It's a special filler metal that you're going to use, and I bet you already have some in your toolbox. Let's do it. Who knows what metal they make chip and hammers out of, but it seems like it might be something like plain 1045 steel with just a little bit more carbon than mild steel. It cuts really easily with a file anyway. So in cleaning off the paint here, I noticed the sparks, and I thought, let's just do a little spark comparison between the chip and hammer and a piece of mild steel tubing. Not a huge difference. We'll put them up side by side here where the chip and hammer is on the top. And you can see a few more little bursts of sparks coming out of the streamers, but there's not a huge difference, just subtle differences. So it's got a little bit more carbon than just plain mild steel, but not much. And so it's soft. I don't want to weld on paint and I also don't want to smell burnt paint. I set the machine to 110 and used the foot pedal. I wasn't nearly at 110 amps, probably not much more than half of that. Here comes the special hard filler rod I was telling you about. Ta-da! It's a, it's a dull drill bit. Not even a good, a good drill bit. This is just a Ryobi that was probably like 50 of them for $20 or something like that. And I probably used it on some metal when it was intended for wood. But anyway, it'll work good for this. I'm trying not to dilute much of that chip and hammer in with it. I'm trying to just lay that bead up on the top. That's something called, they call it weld dilution. They also call it admixture. And in hard facing terms, you don't want to mix a whole lot of the base metal in with the bead. Whether you're doing hard facing on heavy equipment or what, you won't get the result you're looking for if you mix too much base metal in. So I'm going to run another bead on this. We'll make sure we get a good hard bead get out of that dilution and then let it cool off for just a minute or two and then do a file check here and it just glides right over it barely even scratches it an easier way to do edge build up like this is using backing just clamping it off to a big block of aluminum or even copper I did a video a while back showing some techniques and, and settings including some pulse settings for edge beads edge beads are really common in aerospace and a few other industries mainly to restore dimensions when things are worn or, or cut wrong. But it's a useful thing to know how to do. So I'll link, I'll link that video up right here. I showed some pulse settings that I found really helpful for running a bead on an edge. And that was about 50 pulses a second. You can even go higher than that. I know it doesn't look like it's that much here, but that's a camera effect basically. But high speed pulse really makes a bead stick on an edge instead of wandering and wicking over the edges. Those are the settings I use right there for that. Let's get back to the chipping hammer. Okay, I want a hard face on both tips. I use them both mainly for raking. I don't do a lot of pecking with my chipping hammers. I think that's, uh, you only do that when you need to, when you absolutely have to. Mainly I'm trying to rake the toes of welds and try to rake slag instead of put divots in the base metal with a chipping hammer. Okay, so I contoured it pretty decent, I suppose. Another way of checking hardness in addition to filing something is you can use a spring-loaded center punch. It's nothing That's not precise. You're not going to get an accurate reading, but you can tell how hard something is in relation to something else by how big the divot is or how big the indentation is. So that's, that's some aluminum there. It's fairly hard aluminum. It's almost as hard as steel. Let's compare it to the soft part of the chisel here away from the bead. And that is pretty soft, pretty much as soft as that aluminum was. But let's, let's now check it out there on that hardened bead that I put on there with the drill bit. Slips right off. And you can see that barely even scratched it. Big, big difference. So that should bite in really good into the edge of a bead. Uh, let's try it. Okay, this is a 1 8 7018 Hobart electrode at 135 amps. If I don't shake too much, it should, the slag should rake off of there okay with this chip and hammer 2.0 here. Another quick tip that might be obvious, but maybe not to beginners, just let the thing cool off a good while. The slag will come off a lot easier. 
I support these videos with my store at weldmonger.com. I managed to somehow add a lot of products in 2020. I'm going to add even more in 2021. I hope you all have a way better year in 2021, and I appreciate it if you'll visit my store at weldmonger.com. Thanks for watching.